Hey, this is Kathy Cooks and welcome to my kitchen. I am going to be making for you an extremely easy Asian bowl. It's gonna be rice, chicken meatballs, and green beans. That's it. You don't even have to prep the green beans because we will be using a French style green bean that already has an end cut off and they're nice and skinny and tender and they are perfect for this weeknight meal that you don't have to do much preparation. The other ingredients you're gonna need are some oyster sauce. Now this is something you should definitely have in your fridge pantry. What this is, is some oyster extract with some sugar and some other things that just make it delicious. This, if you wanna learn how to make some quick, easy Asian bowls, this should be in your pantry. And most people have their soy sauce. I love this brand, I get it at the Asian store. It's actually a Filipino soy sauce. Um, this is just one of my faves. Uh, I, I use other soy sauces too. So we're just gonna use those. We're gonna have, need some garlic and some ginger. So let's get started on this super easy meal that you guys are gonna be like, wow, I can't believe I just made that. And it tastes restaurant quality, I, I kid you not. This is restaurant quality and super simple. So stay tuned. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is we are going to get our meat ready. We had a pound of ground chicken. I just used Purdue, it's under four bucks a pound. And then I put in that two to three medium size garlic cloves, probably a half teaspoon, maybe a little less of salt. Now the reason why I'm not using a lot of salt in this dish is because oyster sauce has salt and so does, so does the soy sauce. So it was probably more like a quarter teaspoon of salt I put in there. And then I just drizzled some of the oyster sauce. It probably ended up being a tablespoon and not a ton, just enough to give it some oomph, some flavor. I mix that all together and then I start rolling out my sticky balls. Now, some people may put some um, you know, breadcrumbs in at this time. That's okay. I didn't put breadcrumbs, I didn't put egg. I was trying to make this simple and quick and it was absolutely fantastic. So after I got those all rolled up, set them aside, and then I got out my green beans. Drizzle a little oyster sauce, drizzle a little oil. Um, I don't use olive oil because I don't want an olivey flavor. So I just used, I believe it was avocado or grapeseed. Those are the other two oils I have in my house. With my green beans, they were already prepped. One end, the, the skinny end that has the little like tail, that's still on there. But the other end is just kind of snipped off. So there is nothing to do. I put these on my air fryer sheet, which has holes all through it. Now, if you don't have an air fryer, you can do this also stovetop at really high heat, or you can do it in the oven on broil at really high heat. Either way, I use my air fryer because it makes it quicker because having that pan that's basically just mesh lets that air flow all the way through compared to if you have a convection oven, you're using the regular pan and the air can't go all the way through. That's really the only difference I think between convection and an air fryer is the pan. Now back on the stove top, I'm going to start putting my, put some oil down in my pan, get it spread around and then I'm going to put in my meatballs. I'm cooking that about, about at medium, but first put it up to medium high because you want a good sear because all that brown fond on the bottom is gonna add to our flavor. So we want that. The, so once you get them in there and you hear them sizzling and they're all sizzling because you know the pan is pretty crowded. So keep it at medium high until everything's in there and, and you know you're not going to start sweating the meat and just getting a soupy mess. You do not want a soupy mess here. You want that first layer to be nice and brown. About, I really can't remember, maybe five minutes it took. Then I flipped them and the other sides, I want brown, but I really want that first time on there to be brown because I want that bond. That's the important part, the bond. Oops, I forgot. As you're doing this, have your rice ready. Go cook your rice before you even start the meatballs, okay? Get that rice going. Um, I always use jasmine. I just love the flavor of it. I love the fragrant smell. It is absolutely fantastic to smell up your house. It's like a diffuser of jasmine. So have that going. I just put a pinch of salt in there. Now that the green beans are done, we can start assembling. Our chicken meatballs are done. Once you put the green beans in with the meatballs, 
Then you're gonna put a little more of your oyster sauce and some soy sauce, maybe a tablespoon or two, and then maybe just a half teaspoon to a quarter teaspoon of sesame oil. I forgot to tell you about that. This part does not have to be in there. I always keep sesame oil in my pantry. Very nutty and very strong, so a little goes a long way. So even just put a couple drops in it first until you understand, or even just taste it so you understand the potency of the sesame oil. So we got this all together, we're mixing it, and it's done. It is that freaking simple. Is that not insane that it could be that simple? So now all we do is plate it up. Our rice is done, our, our green beans and meatballs are done. You've got a meal in a bowl. You can put out sriracha or chili garlic sauce because some people like it spicy. Put the soy sauce out there too. And you may even want to put your oyster sauce on the table. Someone might want a little more oyster sauce. And that is it. So that is my easy, fantastic meal. And again, remember, the next video, I'm going to put it right up here. You need to watch that because it is what I do with the rice the following day. I make a spectacular chicken and Greek soup with one leftover chicken breast on a rotisserie, that leftover rice, two old lemons. I had some dill sitting on the counter. And what else is in there? Hmm, two eggs and chicken broth. And I make an amazing, quick, creamy soup that is spectacular. It's my favorite go-to summer soup. So I want you to give that a try too. So click the link above and watch the next video.